okay? So we're going to roll this on into Aaron. Aaron, you know what? Real shit. You know, I'm kind of surprised too that you're coming out with some music. But hey, to each his own. Ha, who the fuck am I to say that you can't do it? I thought your shit was kind of hot, personally. I think you're a beautiful young lady. Uh, well, you're not a young lady because I'm certain we're still all around about the same age. But you're a beautiful lady. And when Mimi said that she going to put it on out there on who she fucking with, I really believe y'all fucking. Real shit. I'm just bullshit aside. I think, this is just my prediction, I really believe you and Mimi are in a relationship. I believed it from the beginning. Even before it, Mimi had even came out that she, you know what I'm saying, was flipping switches. Because that uh, touched me not shit. I wasn't mad at it. Old girl was like, look, check this out. I was really wanting to, you know what I'm saying, uh, go ahead on and get this surgery and all this. You really made me feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get me a dick now. Girl, I, uh, look, <clears throat> I ain't uh, getting ready to talk about Mimi just yet because that's going to be a long, drawn-out thing. But, uh, I don't know. I really believe you and Mimi probably, you know what I'm saying, doing y'all thing now. I didn't like the way the fact that Kate Michelle kind of left you there. There was no explanation that you could really give for that. Bitch, how you, how you uh, forget that you had somebody with you? I understand you had a whole crew, but where's all your stylists and all these other motherfuckers? They didn't say, oh, well, Aria, she's we need to get her. Do we get ready? And for you to say the same shit verbatim, what you said that night about, oh, well, we ain't got time. We, you know what I'm saying? People can't be running up to the car. So And then when, what is that, a good couple of days, maybe a week later, when y'all take this next segment and you was like, you told her point blank about how you can't be stopping and people walking up to cars and shit, so you knew what it was when you left that ass. So really, mama, that was like, whoa. Like, seriously, like, where's the security? Where's somebody? I need somebody to go get my partner. You know what I'm saying? Um, call her on the phone. Tell her that we're getting ready to be jet now. Or where's your assistants and all them motherfuckers to tell them, you know what I'm saying, that uh, be ready because we're going to be jetting out when it's time to go. We got to go. I don't understand that. But to just leave her, I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't know. But I, I, I still respect your get down. I respect your hustle. I see you was out here. You was in New York. Now, you know what I'm saying, you was doing Mythins. You was doing, you know what I'm saying, now you're back in Atlanta. I don't know. I don't think you know where the fuck you want to go. I really, truthfully. But, hey. To each his motherfucking own. You got that kind of money to be able to, you know what I'm saying, fly like a eagle. I, I, I ain't mad at it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? What you say, nigga? I'm bi coastal. Nigga, I'm west and east. Nigga, I'm in the south too. It's no problem. If that's the case, no problem. You know what I'm saying? But it just, you know, you know, I, I don't know. When I saw that left old girl, I was like, man, that was fucked up, you know? And then it was like, you know, you was pretty much wanting to shit on, you know, but well, people that's all of a sudden now saying that they don't want to get into music and all this kind of shit, you know. I mean, don't, you know, I mean, hey, let them see if that's going to work for them. Sometimes motherfuckers got to see for themselves that, you know what I'm saying, you probably done got a little bit too old for this. It takes them to see it for themselves. You understand what I'm saying? You can say it till you blue in the face. Girl, you might want to rethink that uh, modeling career, nigga. You 40-something now, okay? I don't see Bizarre and them getting ready to call your ass for no motherfucking cover or nothing. You know what I mean? Nigga, it's kind of a little bit too late for that now. But sometimes people have to get that at their own time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they got to get it. But for you to just put it out there and just say, well, motherfuckers ain't got no talent and shit. Uh, you know, I don't know, mama. That was kind of, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But... Anyway, um, I still believe that you're a beautiful lady. I, I still, I, I'm loving the zen. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I'm like that, too. I got Buddhas and shit all around this motherfucker. I got some zen shit, too. I'm on some feng shui shit, too. So I'm with you with that, you know. I do kind of calm down on keeping you from jumping on the motherfucker. It does do that. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to this motherfucker, Patchouli. That's a... Uh, I got going on right here, yeah, so it do kind of make you a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little level, a little calm the fuck down a little bit, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, so yeah, so that's all I wanted to say about y'all two, best of wishes, good luck on everything, and now I want to talk, talk about Tammy, Tammy, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think you are so beautiful, oh my God, I think she is absolutely just adorable, you know what I'm saying, and I also know that you roll with the click you know, the L.A. clique, you know what I'm saying, Angel Nim from here in California, 
you know, got their little clothing lines. I'm talking about, you know, the Senorita. You know what I'm saying? The beautiful little one that looked like Kobe Bryant's wife on um, um, the Basketball Wives of L.A. So I know that y'all all, you know, partners and shit and Bambi and all y'all motherfuckers. All y'all just a cute little old clique. I mean, just a cute little old just group of girls, just cute. You know, and, you know, I felt you with, you know, the separation thing with your husband. You know, you really didn't want to talk about it or whatever, but, you know, cameras is rolling and it's like, you know, motherfuckers, girl, what happened? And girl, what happened? You know what I'm saying? It's like, why y'all motherfuckers asking questions? Just, you know what I'm saying? Just right now, I'm going through a little thing. I'm going to be all right in a minute. I'll be able to talk about it in two weeks. Let me go through what I'm going through. You see these motherfucking cameras and shit rolling? You know what I'm saying? But still no less. It gave you a little boost for next season, though, because motherfuckers is going to want to know, okay, what's going on with Tammy? You know what I'm saying? I see the little swimsuit line and shit. Thought the shit was real cute. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, but then I also seen, because I do follow you on Instagram, so I saw here, I guess it was a couple of days ago, that Waka, what, wait a minute, what's, what's his name? What's your, what's your dude's name? Waka Flock. No, nah, that ain't Waka Flock. What, what's his motherfucker name? Waka Whatever. Okay, him. Um, I saw y'all did a little Instagram thing. You know what I'm saying? And I think he's a nice looking guy. And I really think that he loved you. But sometimes, you know, when you get involved with men that, you know, I don't want to say he's straight from the streets. But, you know, dudes that, you know, got that real street mentality, it's hard to love them. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to really get in because there's a hard shell around them. And a lot of them don't want to be no punk. And a lot of them, you know, they got this big ego. And a lot of them, you know, they want to be so cool and so tough for their homeboys and all that old type of shit. They have a hard coating around them, you know. And um, so, you know, Mama, I really feel for you with that one. But I know that you love him, and I really believe that he loved you. And all I can say is the best of luck on all that old type of shit. You know what I mean? You have a beautiful daughter. You seem like you're just a loving, loving, loving daughter-in-law. Man, I really, you know, I, I'm really pulling for you. You know, very beautiful sister. I, man, I really dig your get down. Real shit. I ain't got anything bad to say. I just really wish the best for you and your daughter and for your husband, real shit. And I can tell that your mother-in-law really loves you too. She sincerely loves you. And it just shows a lot about your character. Because one thing, it, um, especially when I saw you was sitting up and you were talking to Scrappy, you know, you could tell that, you know, you're about your womanhood. You know what I mean? You could tell that you're a very respectful woman. You know, um, I, I, I saw so much um, maturity, you know, in your conversation with him. And so it just it spoke a lot. It spoke a volume, really. For especially for people that don't really know you or nothing like that. It just spoke a volume as to who you really are. And girl, so you came off real cool on camera. I can't say that you had some shisty shit going on or anything like that. It shows you on your motherfucking grind trying to get it. And I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? The whole way through you was like, Look, I'm I'm about to get this right here and I ain't mad at it, mama. You totally support your pot your partner. You know what I'm saying? And I just adore me some Bambi, you know. I really liked her even when she was on the uh, Basketball Wives, you know. And just a beautiful, 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 beautiful girl. Shout out to the motherfucking Compton. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to motherfucking Lil Wood, huh? Yeah. Um, so, and Bambi, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm just partial to you anyway. But, you know, Mama Scrappy, he really loves you. And... Y'all look so good together. Y'all mesh well. It's just a good look. And I think it's a good look for him, too. You know, and I think that his mama, his homeboys, and everybody know that, you know what, he really loves her. You know, and for him to go and bring all his motherfucking homeboys in, fly mama them out, all this whole time, and everybody got y'all's blessings, and y'all got the blessings from everybody, mama two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. You got you one, mama. He loves you. And, you know, absence make the heart grow fonder. Yeah, you probably went out and done some shit. You really didn't do something. Really didn't do shit. Because when a woman loves her man, she's not going to do it no way. You know what I'm saying? When she really loves her man, she ain't going to do it no way. She's going to do some shit to make this motherfucker a little jealous, though. Make this motherfucker feel some shit. That's one thing we will do. But to really, like, hurt you, hurt you? Nah. You have to have really hurt us real bad. 
for us to do that. Now, don't sleep on us now, because we will fuck the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? Get your shit fucked up real cold like, okay? So, but, when we really love you, though, to hurt you real bad is something that, you know, you don't normally see. And just like when you're watching, like, more public and all this shit and the motherfuckers, that was a lie. You know what I'm saying? That was not the truth. But however the way Martin Public say it, you don't see a lot of them motherfuckers really get up and slap the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? They get all up in their face, ooh, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. But, bitch, you ain't slapped them yet. You know what I'm saying? Because a woman just ain't going to hurt a man. She's just not going to do it, especially when she really loves him. She's not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Now, when there's a lot of hurt and rage, yeah, she gonna slap your motherfucking ass around a little bit, but that's pro that's that's about it, you know what I'm saying? Some shit you can get over, you know what I'm saying? Probably loosen up a tooth a little bit, but, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker probably turn a little different color, you know what I'm saying? But it's alright, you know? But that's just the way we do things. Okay, anyway. Now, let's talk about Dime. Dime, I think, you, you know what? Now, I think you are cute. I think you are a very pretty lady, really. Now, I understand you went and got you the whole Nicki Minaj package. I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? A to each his own. You know what I mean? I don't know if you have children or not. Ain't none of my business. You know, you ain't never really put that out there like that. But, you know, when you really look at you, when, you know, when you take away the rainbow bright, you know, hair, the, you know, my little pony look, when you take that shit away and just look at you, you're a very beautiful lady. You know what I'm saying? You got very beautiful features, you know. And, you know, I just feel like, I don't know, because when I look at you, and especially when I see you talking or whatever, it's like I see beyond that. Like, you really want to get it right, but it's like, you know, this is what everybody's doing right now. You know, I got all this right here to make money, you know what I mean? And it helped me out. But now I gotta be stuck with all this ass and shit I got, you know what I mean? And you wear it proud, like you don't give a fuck, nigga. But what you say, let me go ahead on and put these motherfucking um, uh, sheer uh, stockings on. These just my size motherfuckers on right here. And I'm gonna just put this little G-string on. Fuck it, nigga, we going to the party. Fuck what you talking about, huh? Did you not wear that shit at the motherfucking party? Like, bitch, what's happening? This is what's, this, if you don't check my shit out, I don't know what this half naked shit is nowadays, but everybody's half motherfucking naked. I don't know what it is. But it's like, once again, when you meet a man that you really want to be with, and you done showed him all of that, then what is there for him to see anymore? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really telling you to just, you know, turn it all the way down, but turn some of that shit down just a little bit so then, therefore, a man can really see how beautiful you really are, you know? And I could, you know, I don't know. I got a pretty good judge of character on people, and I really believe that you're good people. But I, I, I just think that, you know, you're trying to get a storyline going as well, you know what I'm saying? And you're a little nosy as a motherfucker, too, because you didn't have to go with old girl about that rank shit. You didn't need to do that. You also didn't need to bring old girl and them all... You know what I'm saying? Let me bring this bitch. Make sure you you got the DNA test, bitch. Make sure you bring that shit, too, because we're going to need receipts on all that shit right here because I need to let my homegirl know that she need to cut this motherfucker loose. You know what I'm saying? I done already told Carly already. This motherfucker done questioned your motherhood and all that old type of shit and already basically said you on some, on some other shit, some okie doke shit. Carly Red, you better leave that motherfucker alone. He's not already, he's, he don't want to be, he, he, he's just not into you. Okay, you just not into you. Dime. Quit fucking with Stevie J and whoever the fuck else and Scrap and whoever the fuck else you let hit it. You know what I'm saying? Jocelyn and all the rest of them motherfuckers. If it's just was some fun shit, you ain't got no kids, let the good times motherfucking roll. But as you begin to get more mature and you want to meet, you know, more of a more of established man and shit, he ain't gonna wanna roll with the stockings with the motherfucking G string in the back. He ain't gonna wanna do all that, mama. So just kinda think about turning that shit down just a little bit. You know what I mean? Now that jumpsuit you had, I'm gonna need one of them though. That denim jumpsuit that you came in there with, I'm gonna need that. Okay? Probably, I don't know what size you are, but I'm about 11, 12. So I'm gonna need that motherfucker right there. Yeah. I want that jumpsuit. That was really, 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 really cute. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's all I got to say about that. 
But anyway, mama, and your motherfucking ass also be ready to fight. Stop wanting to fight some motherfucker. You too cute to be wanting to fight all the goddamn time. Dying? Shit. Yeah. So anyway, I'm done with that. Now, but I do want to talk about Tammy. I mean, uh, excuse me, Tommy. Mama, after watching this shit tonight, oh my God. And see, you know, I kind of, you know, I was starting to believe it was a little bit of a problem. You know what I'm saying? How you flipped your switch on an old boy one day when y'all was arguing and all of a sudden your motherfucking ass leaped up off that motherfucking couch like a cat and wrapped your legs around his motherfucking waist and shit, was pulling all his hair and shit. I said, uh-oh, this bitch right here is 5150. But I didn't know that it was alcoholism. I didn't know that. And now that that has come out on today, then therefore it kind of, you know, gives reason to why you're going through these little highs and lows and all this little trippy shit that you be on. You know what I'm saying? Because your motherfucking ass be drunk as a motherfucker. Now, here last week, TMZ and I already put your motherfucking ass out when uh, here you got pulled over by the motherfucking police. Now, according to the reports, you were driving, and then when the police got behind y'all and all that shit, when you pulled over, your little bitty motherfucking ass flipped over and got in the back, and whoever the brother was, he got in the driver's seat. Now, initially, he said he didn't do that, but then he turned around and said, yeah, I was in the back or whatever. That motherfucker didn't have no loyalty, did he? Them motherfuckers got to talk about charging his ass with some shit. He was like, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, let me tell you what really happened. That bitch was really in the, she was really driving, okay? Now, I was just trying to help that bitch out, but if you try to talk about my motherfucking ass about to get a DUI, shit, I ain't going to be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you just wanted to give me a ticket or something, say, you know what I'm saying, you know, license registration, I ain't got some of that, okay, and therefore go and give me a $250 ticket and send a nigga on his way. But now, you talking about a nigga getting out, walk a line and shit and go downtown for a couple of hours, nigga, I ain't going to be able to do that. This bitch right here, if you don't tell this motherfucker that your motherfucking ass really driving this motherfucker, please. But nigga, you crazy as hell in the first motherfucking place because the way the po police pulled her ass out and threw her all on the motherfucking ground, that bitch was towed up. So you mean to tell me your crazy ass allowed this bitch to drive you from some motherfucking way, nigga? you crazy? For real? You had to already knew that this bitch was ready for an Alcohol Anonymous goddamn program long goddamn time ago, but yet and still you won't get your monkey ass in the car with this motherfucker and give her the keys to drive you some goddamn where? Yeah, you sobered up real motherfucking quick when this motherfucker was like, okay, but why don't you get out? Why don't you go and walk this motherfucker? Huh? He's like, wait a minute, I'm fucked up too. That ain't gonna work. Uh, she, this bitch right here, she was the one that was driving. God damn it. Uh, if you don't tell these motherfuckers you was driving, yeah. But, Tommy, you know, damn. And then you got to coming out with all these revelations about you had your first baby when you was locked up. Well, how many kids you got? God damn. You was like, I had my first baby when I was this, and you know what I'm saying? And I've been, you know what I'm saying, group home, and this, this, this. Oh, my God, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Baby. Oh, my God, you make me want to hug you. You make me want to have you over my house for a weekend just so I can put you up on some game. Real shit, you know what I mean? Just to come step into my motherfucker office. Let me come out at you for a minute. Come on, come on, come on, come, come, come on, come holler at you, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? Because you really need somebody to shoot you some real shit. You know what I'm saying? You really need somebody to hold you close, put you in the bosom and hug you. Jocelyn too, because that bitch is crazy as a motherfucker too. But yeah, you really need somebody to hold you real motherfucking tight and let you know, you know what, baby? It, it, it wasn't your fault. Because something happened along the way. That got you on this little tangent that you on. And I feel so bad. Because somebody done you real fucking wrong. You know what I'm saying? Beyond your daddy. You ain't said too much about your mama. But something happened. And it's fucked up. So really, Mona and them, y'all need to help this young lady. I know y'all gonna bring her back. Because she got a hell of a storyline. And she didn't do nothing but gave herself the gateway to be on this motherfucker for three more goddamn seasons. Because it's going to take more than that to get to the root of all these motherfucking problems. Okay, now, how many kids you got? Okay, now, you got an alcohol problem. Now, your daddy and we might want to venture onto that sometime later on. But then, too, didn't you say your daddy passed away? But then, therefore, they come, want to come back. You said you got brothers and sisters. You know, the show going to want to capitalize on a whole bunch of shit, bring storylines in. But however, though, the shit can backfire. You see, Kenya took her motherfucking ass to a mama house and couldn't get in. You might not want to do that. Just roll up on parents that you ain't seen in a long time. Now, respectfully, daddy has passed on. Uh, wait a minute, who is it?
Can you come back in a minute? Is it important? Huh? Huh? Okay. Now, you see that Kenya shit went kaboom. You know what I'm saying? So just think that shit through. If you, I don't know if your mama name is living or whoever or whoever raised you, big mama, auntie or whoever. But before you get to having the show, have these motherfuckers. Because you see, the shit that went kapooey on Nene too. You know what I'm saying? Some of these motherfuckers, it don't work out right when you try to go back and say, okay, well, I'm going to go back and bring cousins and them in. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to get to the root of the problem on what really went down and shit. But uh, mama, you know, wow. I really hope you didn't give Stevie no motherfucking pussy because that would have been tacky as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Even if, honestly though, I really believe Jocelyn probably hit it. You know what I mean? Because y'all motherfuckers of the same kind. Both of y'all motherfuckers is, you know, kind of tatted up. You know what I mean? Y'all y'all journeys is, you know what I'm saying, on some other things. Y'all really need to be held. That, But see, that right there... See, when, when Jocelyn came on there, she gonna come out of her mouth with, I'm the head bitch, you trying to be me and it. Bitch, hold on, motherfucker. Your shit is not commendable, motherfucker. You ain't got some shit that motherfuckers is really looking like, like, you nigga, know, I wanna be Jocelyn. If you don't knock it off, uh, Jocelyn, for real, with them old ass motherfucking wigs. Now, I'm one to say, you know what I'm saying? Because my hair game is always wickedy whack, and I'm just gonna be that raggedy motherfucker. I'll just be that. Okay, my shit ain't never on 10. Okay, let me get ready to go somewhere, though. Bitch is gonna shake some shit out from somewhere, goddammit, okay? I'm gonna dust some shit off from some motherfucking where when I get ready to go some goddamn where. But in the meantime, in between time, uh, I am Pippi Long, stocking, hoping, hey, the hope shine on. Yeah, I'll be that motherfucker. Huh? Okay, yeah. With a little twist of sativa on the back end. Okay, got my card. But anyway, but yeah, so, but Tommy, you know, really, on some real shit, I really hope you didn't sleep with an old boy. I really hope you didn't. And, you know, I really hope that the show gets you the help that you need, because, Mama, you truly need some help. Real shit, on some real, real shit, they need to help this baby. So quit all the bullshitting, quit all the making fun and laughing at. No, this one right here, she's going to need some help. You know, and the older ladies of the show, instead of laughing at her and talking about her, you know what I'm saying, wrap your arms around her and see if you can be of some form of assistance. Even though I also see that everybody else, me, me, and everybody else kind of background is a little tatted up too. So it's like the blind lead the motherfucking blind to a degree. But some of you guys have gotten up and gotten over. Some of you guys have been through some counseling sessions. She just now getting started, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, she's going to need some hand up some around this motherfucker. And motherfuckers can kind of take it easy on her because she's a little fragile. Yeah, she needs some help, you know. She really, really, really needs some help. Beautiful young lady. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. But, yeah, she's going to need some help. Real shit. You know, so I can't even come in and go all the way, you know, all crazy with you, mama. Because after tonight, you kind of open the gateway up, for, you know, for people to soften their heart when it comes down to you and what it is that you're going through. So, on that note, mama... I'm going to just leave that right there and I'm going to roll this on into my girl motherfucking Mimi. Me, me. Huh? Mimi. Me, Mimi, me. me, me, listen. Mimi, I don't know what you doing, mama. What you doing? Huh? Are we just making money around this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Are we just making money? Because, see, okay, at one point in time, you was getting into the music thing. So, if you in the music thing, why is Arian walking around here trying to get motherfuckers to get her on and shit? If you, you know what I'm saying? If you got this kind of pool and... You know what I'm saying? You got the back and the Stevie J and all this old type of shit that therefore uh, Arian should be in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know? But uh, I see you you supposed to have been undone the child support order on him a long time ago. But being that you just now did that, okay, no problem. But I'm also need you to go down there and get you some bomb ass motherfucking life insurance on Stevie's ass. Okay? Because at the end of the motherfucking day, he got a whole bunch of goddamn kids that need support. Okay? This motherfucker's backed up on child support payments. Millions. Okay? So then therefore, fuck what you're going through. The bottom line is to take care of you and yours. Go on down and go get you some motherfucking life insurance on this motherfucker. Please, pronto. Immediately. You understand me? I mean me. Because, see, I don't know what it is. Because, like I said before, you have to be able to respect money. You know, and as long as you've been on this show and you've been on some, 
you know, hanging off rods and you been fucking with this one and that one and this chick and that and this and this and that and this and you still move at every motherfucking season. I'm not understanding that. Why do you keep moving? Okay? You need some stability in your life, mama. Me and you.